guys it's elizabeth from elts adventures i have another video for you today um, but this video is going to be a get to know me tag video um, which means i have 24 um, regular like questions talking about me like getting so you guys can get to know me and then i have like three bonus questions that deal with like cruising vacationing that kind of thing and then at the end of this video i have three other youtubers i'm gonna tag and um so all i would want them to do is i'm going to have the questions all typed out in the description and then all i would ask for those that i tag to do is um just go through and just answer the same questions that um i did and it's just a way for <clears throat> you guys the subscribers to get to know who i am um get to know me behind the camera you know get to know what i like and you know the things like that so so again i have 24 questions um, there are a couple of like vacation type questions that were included in this list. Um, but then I did three bonus questions at the end that are specifically about cruising and stuff like that since that's what this channel is mostly about. So question number one is where are you from? So I'm actually from a little small town um, called Loris. It's in South Carolina. Um, that's where I was born. Um, my family is all there. Um, and this little town is about 30... It's about a 30 minute drive from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I know a lot of people are more familiar with Myrtle Beach. I was born there. I lived there for a while. Um, and then when my mom married her now ex-husband, we moved to Conway, which is, you know, about 20 minutes from Loris. Um, and I lived there most of my life up until I was about 20, just from 26. So probably about 21. Um, is when I moved up to Lancaster, South Carolina, where I currently live with my fiance and his family. All right, question number two, who did you look up to when growing up? So um, as I was growing up, I always really looked up to my mom. Um, and then of course, like my, I always looked up to my grandpa as well. He, um, he's a hardworking man and he would do anything in this world for his grandchildren. Um, and so I always looked up to him, you know, as well. So my mom, my grand, my grandpa um number three which of your parents are you more like um i'm gonna say my mom again um, me and my mom have always had a close relationship and um you know me and her like if we would go anywhere you know we always get asked all the time are you guys sisters you know we look like identical twins um so i think i'm more like her you know i have the same you know me and her both you know we're we have a good heart you know, and we just have similar personalities. Um, I think as I'm growing up, though, I think I'm kind of, you know, just becoming my own person. You know, I'm not really, some of the things that we used to be just alike with and some of the opinions that we had are now, you know, now that she's divorced, you know, and I'm kind of, you know, I live three hours away from her. Um, we're not as close as we used to be, but I still, you know, am more like her than I am anyone else. Number four, what is your big, biggest accomplishment? Um, I think for me, it was me graduating college. I know that doesn't seem like a very big accomplishment, but I've been told I was the first of my family to actually go to college. Well, to actually finish college, I should say. Um, one of my aunts went to college, but I don't think that she finished. Um, my mom went, and she has now since then, of course, finished. But um, <clears throat> she had went for a couple of different things. So to me, that's a pretty big accomplishment is um, going to college. I actually graduated college with a um, diploma in massage therapy. Since then, I have quit doing massage therapy. Um, it just wasn't for me. You know, you kind of go through school and you get the degree and you think it's for you. And then you get out in the real world and you actually do it. I did it for about a year and a half. Um, and then I finally called it quits. So I think that was my biggest accomplishment was graduating college you know, finishing college, doing what I was, went to school to do, um, you know, so, um, number five, who is your favorite actor and actress? Um, my favorite actor, there's several of them, but I think my most favorite is Channing Tatum. Um, and then my favorite actress is Melissa McCarthy. I love every single one of her movies. Um, they're always funny. You know, and I like a good funny movie, um, and all of hers are just hilarious. She's a really good actress. Um, <clears throat> number six, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? 
y'all, this is really hard to choose a favorite ice cream flavor. Um, I mean, if you're sticking with like the classic flavors, <clears throat> then mine would have to be chocolate. Um, but getting into the more, you know, more interesting flavors, um, I've always liked chocolate chip cookie dough. I, I like the little chunks of cookie dough. They're just good. I don't know. Number seven, your favorite restaurant. Um, if I'm going out for a good steak and like a good dinner, my favorite restaurant right now is Texas Roadhouse. Um, and now if I'm just going for like fast food, um, my favorite right now is Chick-fil-A. You know, it, they're just both really great restaurants. Um, Texas Roadhouse is a really fun environment. Um, but their steaks are awesome. Um, and then Chick-fil-A, of course, you know, I, I just like the flavor of their chicken. I love their fries. You know, everything about Chick-fil-A is great. <clears throat> Number eight, are you a dog person or a cat person? Um, I think for me, I used to be more of a dog person. Um, and I do have a dog, so I'm not saying that I don't like dogs. Um, but ever since I moved in with my, with my fiance, they're more cat people. Um, and I think I've kind of grown to like cats more. Um, like right now we had, um, we had not really rescued this cat, but she wandered up on our porch. And so we let her in the house, you know, she had been wanting to come in. It was in the winter time. So we were trying to keep her warm. Um, and she really grew on all of us. And she just recently actually had kittens. Um, so, and we are hopefully going to be keeping one of the kittens, you know, and so I think I've grown to love cats more. Um, and if you're talking and if you ask me more if I like, <clears throat> like adult cats or if I'm more of a kitten person, I absolutely love little kittens. Not that I don't like the adult one, you know, adult cats, but, um, I like kittens. And if I ever, you know, have a cat on my own, which I know I will, I want to have it from, you know, like the time it's born and I want to raise it and it be with me its entire life. So, <clears throat> number nine, your favorite uh, vacation spot that you've been to. Um, out of the ones I've been to, I think my favorite is um, Tennessee. Um, I went to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee several years ago um, with my best friend Kimberly and her parents and her whole family. Um, and I loved it. There was, there's just so much to do. Um, and I like the mountains in general. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the beach. I love going to the beach. Um, but, like, in the fall time, I love going to the mountains. Um, and me and my fiancé are going to be planning a Tennessee trip sometime within the next couple of years. Um, but we want to get this first cruise out of the way first, and then we'll kind of talk about um, a Tennessee trip, possibly. And, of course, you guys will be coming along with us, but... I really like Tennessee. I like the mountains. Um, I want to go to Dollywood. I've never been there. Um, so, but when I went with my best friend, we pretty much like stayed in the cabin and kind of just enjoyed the scenery and stuff. But I think the next time I go, I actually want to get out and do things and see Tennessee. Um, and specifically we went to Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. So that's where me and my fiance would be going is because that's what I'm familiar with. Now, growing up, um, my grandpa every year would always load the family up and take us um, to like the North Carolina mountains. Um, and we would literally pitch a tent in the woods. We wouldn't really go and do much. We went to the gym mine a couple of times, but for the most part, we would sit around and just enjoy the scenery. So I've always liked going to the mountains. Um, and I think that's my favorite um, place that I've actually been to. There's other places that I want to go and that will probably become my favorite place. But for right now, Tennessee is currently my favorite vacation spot. Um, number 10, what is one guilty pleasure you enjoy way too much to give up? Um, and with this question, I took it more as like food. Um, but some of you, you know, you might have things that you enjoy doing, you know, that you wouldn't want to give up. I guess it's kind of a question more. Um, but I, for me, with it being food related, chocolate is definitely a guilty pleasure that I do not ever want to give up. Um, particularly my favorite chocolate, I think right now is white chocolate. I don't know what the taste, I don't know what it is, the flavor or whatever, but anything white chocolate right now, I'm like addicted to. 
Um, I do like regular milk chocolate and I like some dark chocolate, but I just don't want it to be like really, really dark to the point where it's bitter. Um, number 11, are you a morning person or are you a night owl? Um, I think for me, I'm kind of in between. I think it depends on the day. Um, when it comes to being a morning person, I'm not like that every morning. Like if I just worked the night before and I had to stay later and finish my work and I just, I didn't get out of work until, you know, midnight, you know, then of course I'm not going to be a morning person. Um, but like if I'm off or if I didn't have as bad of a night at work, um, I can get up the next morning and just go. Um, like for instance, you know, the morning of this video that I'm recording right now, it's 1135. I got up at nine o'clock. I, you know, obviously went and used the restroom, um, got me something to eat. Like I got right up and started doing what I needed to do. Um, but some mornings I just want to lay in that bed till 10, 11, you know, and it's just hard for me to get up. But on some nights I can stay up, you know, two, three, four o'clock in the morning and just not be sleepy. It takes a long time for me to wind down and actually go to bed. But once I am in bed and my head is on the pillow, I'm gone. So I'm kind of in between, I think, and it depends on the day and, you know, what I did that day and stuff like that. So number 12, um, what was the last movie that you saw at a movie theater? Now for me, um, me and my fiance don't go to the movies a whole lot. Um, we used to go like once a month, we would do like a date night type thing, if not more often than that. Um, but, and I had a hard time trying to think of this. Um, but I think the last movie that we went and saw at the movies was, um, Den of Thieves. I don't remember right offhand what it was about. Um, I think it was these people trying to pull off, like, a heist on the, um, the National Reserve Bank. If I remember correctly, that was what it was about. And it was a pretty good movie. Um, it's just been a while. Um, but in the near future, um, we are actually going to go see the new Jurassic World movie. Um, he wants to go for our anniversary on July the 3rd, also a late birthday for him. So July 3rd, we'll be going to see that. Um, so then that will become my most recent movie. Um, number two, uh, 13, um, what is a, what is your dream vacation spot that you haven't been to? Um, and I think this is kind of a standard for some people but I have never been to Hawaii and I would love to go there um, they say it's a beautiful you know and it's just that tropical island you know feel um, and I would love to go there I wish that I don't think there is but I wish that there was like a cruise where you could cruise to Hawaii and just spend a whole day if not two and then you know head home but I don't know for sure that there is I don't think that there is I haven't really done a lot of research on that but I would just love to go to Hawaii um number 14 if you could have any job what would you want it to be um and this was a hard question for me um I picked all these questions off of a list of like 200 questions um and now I regret picking it because it was really hard for me to choose like a specific job um but for me I love children um, so any job where I can get involved with children would be an amazing job. Um, whether it be, you know, like one day I would love to be able to like own a daycare center and just take care of children all day while people are working or whatever they do, you know, so that to me is, I guess, like a dream job. Um, but anything, <clears throat> excuse me, anything to do with children for me is amazing. Um, and then number 15 is what was your first job? So from what I can remember, um, my first official job, um, I had, I was cleaning, um, condos in Myrtle Beach with my mom and her two sisters. Um, and I think that was my, technically my first job, but my first real job, you know, like really, really doing work was, um, Papa John's in Myrtle Beach. Um, a lot of people say, oh, well, my first job was McDonald's or whatever, you know, like nowadays a lot of, you know, teenagers and stuff like that, it's their first job because they hire so young. But for me, my first job was Papa John's. Um, and I loved it. It was on the beach, not where you could see the beach from like where I was at, but it was close enough. I could have walked to it every day if I wanted to. Um, but it was fun. I worked with a lot of good people. 
Um, I had a great manager. It was just fun. At Papa John's, my job was I was an order taker. So, like, I was the person that whenever you called Papa John's and you wanted to place an order for delivery, I was the person, one of the people taking your order. Or I also learned, like, the cash registers on the very front part to where if you come into Papa John's and you wanted to place an order or if you were picking up your order, I was the person that, you know, took your money and, you know, give you your pizza and stuff. <clears throat> okay, number 16 what did you do for your most recent birthday? So I had to think about this. I had to go on Facebook and look at what I did. I couldn't remember. Um, but for my most recent birthday, which was just in May, um, we went to the Riverbank Zoo. As you guys know, I did a video, like a slideshow video of those pictures that I took from there. And then after we went to the zoo, um, we went to eat lunch at CC's because I had a free buffet coupon for my birthday. Um, and then we just come back home and just kind of hung around the rest of the day. But for the most part of the day, we were in Columbia, South Carolina at the zoo. Um, and that was fun. I hadn't been to the zoo since I was so little and I had been wanting to go. And I actually had someone give me free passes, um, that they never used. So we didn't even have to pay to go to the zoo. So that made it even better that it was, you know, a birthday trip, but it was also free for us. Number 17, um, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, as a child, I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, you know, anybody in my family could tell you, especially like my grandma, um, I would go to my grandma's house like every weekend and I have several cousins. I don't even know now. I've lost count. At least 10 cousins. Um, and I was, I'm the oldest grandchild of all of them. So I would be the teacher and like we would play school all the time. I would teach them, you know, like I had my grandma to buy me like this little whiteboard. Um, and I would like teach like a real teacher and growing up all, I knew that's what I always wanted to do was be a teacher. Um, but then once I actually grew up and got out of high school and stuff, I didn't really pursue that. And I guess that's because just things change and you realize like, Hey, you know, growing up, you want to be a teacher, but when you get grown up, you realize teachers don't make that good of money. So then you kind of change that career choice very quickly. And that's what I did. Um, number 18, if you could live anywhere in, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? This was definitely a struggle. Um, I, it, to me, it still is a struggle because there's a lot of places that, you know, I don't really know if I want to live there because I've never visited there. Um, so I don't know how it is living there. You know, a lot of places that you know you want to visit, but you may not necessarily want to live there because like the living conditions or you don't know how it would be to live there. So for this one, I'm still going to leave it blank because I'm not really sure, um, where I would want to live. I mean, I'd like to live in Tennessee near the mountains. So that might would be my, my choice there. Um, I like the mountains. So I think, you know, or, or even, um, just somewhere like on a beach somewhere like you know like in a beach house type thing or you know just somewhere on the ocean I'm not really a hundred percent sure on this one it's kind of a up in the air but I think um you know just somewhere in the mountains I like the mountains I'd love to have just a little log cabin up on a mountain somewhere away from everybody just where I have my privacy so maybe that's that'll be my answer to the question I guess I, number 19 um is um, when was your first time ever getting on a plane? For me, this the answer to this question is never. I have never um, gotten on a plane and flew anywhere um, or anything. And honestly, I don't really ever intend on doing it. Um, I, I'm not really scared of heights. Um, but I just feel like if I can get to where I need to get to in a car, I would much rather just drive. I like to drive. Um, and that's just a personal preference. Some people just don't want to. Um, like, for instance, my fiance's sister just went with their cousin um, to Arkansas, and they drove a 12-hour drive. And I know 12 hours seems like a lot, but I would probably do the same thing. I just don't really have no need to ever get on a plane if I can drive. Now, if I was going somewhere like California, which I don't think I would ever go there, but if I were to ever go somewhere like California, obviously I would probably fly because that would be a really long drive. But if I can get to where I need to get to in a car, I'm going to get to where I need to get in a car. Okay. So for some of you out there, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, kind of looking at me weird, like, oh my God, you've never flew. You don't want to fly. Well, that's just my personal preference. 
Just don't want to fly. Just don't don't really have a need to. Um, number twenty. Do you have any siblings, and if so, how many? Um, I do. I recently discovered that I do. Um, I grew up my entire life, up until I was twenty five, thinking I was an only child. I have no brothers, no sisters, no nothing, just a bunch of cousins. Um, but January of this year. That changed. Um, I have I found out that I have one half sister through my biological father, who also I have just recently met, um, and she's 13. Um, she's in middle school, um, and I also found out that I do have a couple of half brothers, but that's a long story. I'll probably never get to meet them, as unless they choose to try to find me whenever they grow up, whenever they get older. So yes, I do, and that I know of that I've actually met. I have one half sister. Um, I have a best friend who I've always considered to be like my sister. Um, and then my fiance's sister, I kind of, you know, I call her my sister, but biologically by blood, I have one half sister through my biological dad. Um, number 21, one thing, what is one thing that is on your bucket list? Um, I don't know. I, a lot of these questions I didn't really sit down for a long time to think about. Um, obviously one of the things that I want to do that I've already talked about in this video is going to Hawaii. Um, and I know if I don't want to fly, that's probably not ever going to happen. Um, unless I can find a cruise where I can get on a boat and go. Um, I don't really know. I don't really want to like jump out of an airplane. Um, if you've seen the movie Bucket List, I mean, I don't want to really climb Mount Everest, you know, like, I don't want to do those silly things, um, you know, but I, and another thing I would like to do is I'd like to get on a cruise that goes, like, around the world that takes you to all different places around the world. That would just be cool. Um, and then number 22, were you named after anyone? Um, yes, I was named after, I think it was my mom's great aunt. Her name was Elizabeth Ann, um, and obviously I'm not Elizabeth Ann, but, um, I am Elizabeth Nicole, um, but I was, my first name, I think, um, come from her. I was named after her, so. Um, number 23, do you have any favorite sports teams, and if so, who are they? Um, the only thing I really try to keep up with is football, um, and I have a college football team, and I have an NFL team, um, and my college football team is Clemson, um, out of Clemson, South Carolina. Um, I, they're, I mean, they do pretty good, you know, down here in the South, um, a big rivalry, especially in South Carolina, is uh, Clemson and South Carolina Gamecocks. Um, and then for NFL, I like the Atlanta Falcons, our favorite player um is uh matt ryan that's that's our favorite he's really good so um number 24 do you like to save old greeting cards or do you just throw them away um me personally i like to save them and i was gonna get on here and show you guys like all of my greeting cards but i don't remember where i put them but i do have them in like a box um a special box that i have um every holiday every birthday just every time I get any type of greeting card, I always, um, on the envelope, I'll write, like, what it was and what year. So, like, if it was Valentine's Day of last year, I would have wrote, you know, Valentine's Day 2017, you know. So, I always do that. And, um, so that's the last of, like, the regular questions. Like I said, there was a couple of extra vacation questions just thrown in there. Um, so the, the next three are going to be strictly like vacation related questions um and the first one of those three is um what is currently your favorite cruise ship that you have been on um and for me we haven't been on any cruises yet um we're planning our first one for the carnival sunshine um i hope that you know maybe after two or three cruises that i can get on here and tell you guys what my favorite cruise ship is um so right now i don't have a favorite because we haven't been on any but for the people, the YouTubers that I have tagged in this, you guys will definitely have a favorite one. Um, number two of the vacation ones is um, when was your first cruise and where did you go to? Um, and for me, I'm going to answer this as like, when is my first cruise and where am I going to? 
So my first cruise is May 27th of 2019. So we are about um, 350 days or something like that away. That's a really long time, guys. I'm going to go crazy. Um, but I'm still keeping my excitement up watching videos and things like that. So, But that's going to be our first one. And we are going to Nassau and Half Moon Key in the Bahamas. I'm excited. I hear a lot of good things about Half Moon Key, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and then the third one and the last one of this little questions is, um, do you get seasick? So, I don't know yet because I haven't been on a cruise ship, but I will say um, my fiance's parents have a small, well, not really a small boat, it's like a medium-sized boat, um, and going out on the river, like the lake with that, going fishing and stuff, I don't get seasick at all, um, so I don't ride roller coasters, so I can't really gauge that, but, because some people say that, you know, if you're, if you don't get seasick in, like, a small boat, and if you don't really get motion sick from, like, roller coasters and stuff, you're fine, um, so I don't get like seasick motion sick on a small boat like in the river um and I don't really I just don't ride roller coasters it's not because I get sick it's just because I don't really like you know climbing up these big old hills and then going really fast down them and going curves and stuff that's just not my thing so <laughs> um hopefully I will not get seasick but just in case I do we're gonna have plenty of stuff for this first uh cruise that you know, if we do, we're going to have a lot of medicine. I tag Jenny and Tony from Lolita Loca. I'd love to hear both of you guys um, answering these questions or answering them together or whatever. Um, and then I'd also like to hear from Michelle from Adventures Ahead. I'd love to hear yours. Um, and then Josh from the NES Evolution. Josh and Michelle are both part of Adventures Ahead, but I did them separate just because you know, she has her channel, which is Adventures Ahead, and then he has his channel. So I just figured I would do them separately. But if you guys would love to just do one video together, um, I'd still love to hear from both of you, kind of your opinions on each question um, and your answers to the questions. Because just because you're a couple, you might have a totally different opinion from each other. So Jenny and Tony from Lolita Loca. Michelle from Adventures Ahead and Josh from the NES Evolution. I'm going to tag all three of you down below. Um, so I'd love to hear all of your answers and get to know you guys. Um, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and getting to know me and who I am. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. And if you'd like to comment down below um, of any types of videos similar to this in the future, um, that you guys would like to see me do, feel free to comment below. Please do. Um, I could always use ideas. Um, I know that Elisa and Jason from EECC Travels, they did a cruise tag several years ago. Um, but for me, I couldn't really do that one because I haven't been on any cruises yet. But after I go on a couple, like two or three, I'm probably going to do that cruise tag. And that way, you know, you guys can hear from me, my opinions of different cruises and answering those questions um, from them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, then please um, consider subscribing and check out the rest of my videos. And look forward to more exciting videos coming soon. Alright guys, hope you guys have a great day. Bye!